So there's a police officer, I guess this was uh, earlier today, yesterday, uh, I don't remember exactly, but there was a police officer who was assaulted, and uh, he uh, goes into a gunfight, uh, he's rolling around, um, and it turns out that he was in a standoff, that's right, with a squirrel. So let's watch the video. Jesus. Bro, he's going all out. Oh, on the side. I'm hit. What? I'm in the car. I shot through the car. Oh. This is this TOS. Careful, it might show blood. Is this fine? Can I show the rest of it? Yeah, is it about to show blood? Yeah, it's a squirrel, right? I, I'm, I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. So, yeah, um, the squirrel is still at large. Uh, he has not, as far as I know, he hasn't been apprehended by the police. Um, so, you know, everybody does need to worry about this. And uh, this is a, uh, uh, I guess this is a notarized document from the sheriff's department. <laughs> uh, who discharged their firearms. The incident was documented. And uh, let's see, the narrative... At a friend's home, the calls that were linked together. Uh, where's the squirrel here? Um, referring to the picture on the victim's phone, said that's what this is. Where's the part with the squirrel? Oh no! Oh no! Here it is. The following events are described from Deputy Hernandez's second video. Acorn comes into frame. Acorn strikes the roof of the patrol vehicle. Hernandez raises right into frame. And then they start rolling and saying shots fired. The acorn, bro. And then, oh my god, bro, they got the play-by-play. -play. Look at this. His right knee comes into frame as he falls to the ground. Oh no. The shot, the you know, shots fired for a second time. Oh my god! Did they ever figure out that it's a squirrel? A noise is heard. Given the timing, it was likely the acorn which struck the vehicle. Oh my god. This is what makes body cams worth it. You know? Because we would have never seen this shit. Like, this is the kind of thing, it's like, you would probably believe this because it was in Florida and that's in America. And it's like a police officer doing something stupid. So, like, you probably would believe this even if you didn't have the video, but there would be some people that didn't make the video, that didn't believe it. And like, this is just, man, he started, the officer started shooting because an acorn hitting his car. Yeah, that's basically it. Did he kill the guy in the car? I don't think anybody died. Yeah, here it is. This is the video right here. Oh, I saw it, bro. I fucking saw it. Did you guys see it?
There it is. <laughs> Fucking figured out, man. No one died. He had a suspect cuffed in the car, heard the acorn, the suspect had concealed weapon, dumped his mag, completely panicked and already resigned. Yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, honestly, uh, like, here's, here's the, here's the reality, right? It's like, I played a lot of video games, and so, like, I know how, like, you know, like, an NPC can bug out, right? Like, you, you, you stand in front of them, and then, like, they, like, teleport to the, you know, to a second story of a, of a building or something like that. So, I, I can see, like, there's all kinds of, like, NPC programming that happens like this in games all the time, right? So, like, whenever I go and I see a person do this, it's like, yeah, for sure, right? This, of course, this is what happens. Uh, yeah, this is the Bethesda police force. And, um, anyway... I really think, like, apparently the guy already resigned, and, uh, you know, that, that, thank God, thank God, thank God, because, like, the reality is that I'm just glad that somebody had this on camera, because, like, a person like this really doesn't have any business being a police officer. Like, I get, I, like, being a police officer is probably one of the most stressful jobs in the world, right? So I have a tremendous amount of respect for police officers, but it's like, at the same time, you can't really go and have somebody who's going to fly off the trigger uh, whenever an acorn hits the ground, right? Or acorn hits the thing. Like, that, that that's really the way I see it, right? I mean, this is just... This is dangerous, man. He's not built for it. No, he's not. And, um... It, it's like if he didn't char discharge the, the weapon, right? He didn't start shooting his gun. I, I wouldn't have really... Like, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal to me, right? But, like, whenever you start randomly shooting your gun and shit, like, uh, that, that, that's too much, man. You just can't, you, you can't have somebody like that, uh, like, you just can't have somebody like that going on, right? You said, I'm hit. Yeah, like, what is this? Either built for it or not built for it. Or not getting enough mental care? Yeah, when you get good, strong people? Yeah, and, and, and like, really, and I get how people would be on edge, right? I, I get it, I understand it, but it's just that... You know, you have a situation like this happen, and it's like, there's no way that you can have a person like this. That There's no way you can have a person like this on a police force after this. I mean, it, that that's insane. Right? I mean, that yeah, that, that's just, it's accountability, right? I mean, like, it, it, it's just, and also, like, if he hadn't shot the weapon, I would have been like, yeah, this guy probably just needs a lot of therapy. You know, probably just needs a break. But, like, he starts shooting the weapon... Then it's like at the, like I can feel bad for probably the mental state that he's in, but you just can't have that kind of a person as a police officer. I mean, like fuck, how's this even a question? How's this even a, a controversy, a conversation? It's just a fucking fact, right? That's about it. Facts, cop or not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sadly, it's very easy to become a cop because they're hurting for officers. You get people like this become a cop because of that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you get bad cops, right? I mean, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, like, I, I, I wish that, I wish that the public, I, I wish that people didn't take as many, in my opinion, like, unfair shots at the cops as they do. Like, I, I like joking around, right? But I joke around with everything. The truth is, though, is like, uh, I, I, as I said, I have tremendous respect for police. Uh, it, it must be scary as fuck, uh, being a police officer. And so, like, I see this happen, and it's like everybody wants to goof on this guy. I get it, right? I get it. And it is, st it's dumb as fuck what he did. But at the same time, it's its just sad. It's sad, yeah, dealing with crazies. Yeah, you deal with crazy people like this all the time as a police officer. You do that five years and, uh, you know, you don't have like a, you know, a really strong like support group in your own personal life. And shit like this gets under your skin. That's really it. It's partly a screening issue and partly a training issue. There's a lot of people that just fly off the fucking handle, man. And uh, yeah, that's it. Is how he passed training because the police officer himself can become a big threat? Yeah, yeah, I know. I get that. The dude was in special forces for 10 years, apparently. Uh, well, I mean, maybe it was PTSD, man. Like, maybe that's what it was. Like, he heard a sound. The sound triggered some fucking PTSD. And it, it, it just, just happened. And it's like, also, like, I... I mean, fuck. It, it, it's just, it's fucking sad. Right? It is fucking sad, but you just, I mean, doesn't matter what the reason is, you just can't have this dude still be a police officer. I mean, like, what the fuck? It's not even a question.
But yeah, obviously everybody is goofing around on this because it's fucking ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I think about it. Isn't it eerie discussing the shooting incident while the Super Bowl shooting just happened? Nah, people get shot all the time, man. Like, I, I don't really think about it a whole lot. Like, why would that bother me? I mean, like, fuck, like, all, all of that kind of stuff is bad. I mean, yeah, it happens constantly. Hope the victim gets a massive payout, because what the fuck? Yeah, they definitely need to, and that payout's gonna come from people's taxes in the area, and so, uh, that's why it's important to have the accountability for whenever somebody here makes a mistake or shouldn't be on a police force, you know? That's, uh, really what it comes down to. Uh, you know, like, that kind of stuff means a lot. That's a lot of money, too. What will happen if civilian did that? Will they have to go to jail? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it depends on if it's, uh, like, I assume that probably not. I actually think the answer is probably not, because if the person had, like, documented P PTSD, they could probably use that as a defense, and they'd probably just have their license taken away and put on probation or some sort of, like, uh, you know, like a... a like therapy or something like that that's what I, I i think right i mean i i don't i don't really know now if somebody got hit then yeah of course they would go to jail but like in the instance where nobody gets hit they probably wouldn't put the guy in jail for this especially unless this was like a repeat thing it was an illegal gun he shouldn't have had it on him right you know it's it, it's a lot of a lot of things but yeah uh, ptsd is an insanity play yeah i don't know i mean like as i said i'm not sure but uh, you, you have to have police officers that have, like, a, uh, like, police officers are citizens, but not in every single circumstance are they going to be held to the same, uh, like, level of, like, uh, behavior as a citizen. Should this guy be, I don't know, it's, it's debatable, right? And, like, they'll figure that out. But, uh, you know, it's like, for example, like, police officer speeding because it's a police officer. And so, uh, you know, it just depends on what the situation is. Should be a higher standard. In in some cases, I agree with you. In some, I don't. Uh, I think that it's a case by case basis. Blind firing a gun down a uh, street with civilians, obviously an area. Yeah, you should go to jail. Yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, like, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like totally against that. I just like if he was a civilian, I'm not a hundred percent sure because if they made it seem like it was a mental health episode, maybe he could get out of it. I again, like, what, what, what the fuck? Do any of us really know anything about this? Like, what are we talking about? But yeah, um, that's pretty much what I think about this. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see somebody like this pop off because it means that, you know, it's like imagine what's going on in their head. You know, a lot of nuts in their head too, right? But um, fuck, there it is.